Well, we are nearly uh, packed up, ready to go. Tinny's on the roof and everything's in the back of the D-Max. And the van has had a few nights in luxury undercover and all packed up. Also, and just cleaned the shed a little bit, killed a little bit of a sweep and yeah, we're just going to hook up and get out to Quaggy Beach, I think you call it. Quaggy. Quaggy. Uh, yeah, it's only 60 odd k's away, so it's not too far and which is good. Um, there's a bit of a breeze here, so hopefully a bit more of a sea breeze out there. It's quite warm now, 35 or something. It's, uh, it's on the same road as where we did a recce mission and damaged the old D-Max with a kangaroo. We got back from out at Bunbury yesterday, did the whole day trip, get out of here, so we could get all the car assessed to get it fixed and now that's done, we can actually start um, doing some proper coastal camping. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It'll be good. We'll uh, hook up and get going. Uh, our Quaggy Beach just pulled in and uh, leveled up off the van. Got a little spot here. The beach is literally 50 meters that way. I decided to bring me a uh, flicky down and um, it's windy as fuck but I've got a little uh, laser 30 gram and a little bag of tricks there. Kel's just, uh, just there. Reading a book and that, chilling out. Yeah, we'll see if we can catch a fish at uh, Quaggy Beach. Just trying to look for a bit of a deep channel or gutter or something I can flick a lure into that's not going to blow back in my face. We go off the end of these rocks here and I don't know, give it a try. Might get a couple of herring or something. Uh, yeah, maybe over here. Holy shit, it's windy. <laughs>
herring. Oh, I found where they live. Let's see if I can get a couple more. No monsters, but um, if I can get half a dozen, that's dinner. Just got to keep an eye on this water. Loving this little uh, laser laser slug, thirty gram. Shit! Oh, well, that's number eight. I'm gonna finish at that, it's done. Oh, that was good. I uh, just got him in a rock pool down there. I uh, got eight, I think. Uh, but there's absolutely millions out there. There's no big ones, but um, uh, eight little herring for us is enough for a uh, feed tonight. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna stop there. Kel's over there, I'm heading that way now. I'm just going to uh, try and make my way across these rocks. Uh, which way did I come up? Heat waves, mate. Heat waves. Didn't save me then. Oh yeah, we're up. We're back. Yeah, that's the point. Did the damage. A bit of bark off me. Uh, I'm just going to find a not so windy spot and um, and fill it these herring. Shit loads of eight uh, herring, small herring. But uh, that's a feed. That's dinner tonight. So uh, it's like 250, 300 grams of meat. And yeah, I go walk back and uh, kick back for the Arvo. Abalone, just tenderized it with the um, with the back of the knife there, made it all nice and soft. And now I'm going to slice it up a little bit, put it in some, um, coat it in some plain flour, uh, a bit of salt, pepper. Yeah, just going to fry her up, uh, and then the herring. Just going to do a bit of coating mix here. Mm -mm.
we have to abort and go inside to the windy. And we have uh, abalone bites with um, <laughs> some fresh herring, coleslaw with feta and cupy, and homegrown cherry tomatoes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, this morning, while the um, uh, swells up a little bit and the wind, I uh, just thought I'd give myself a little project. I'm going to make a herring lure out of a beer can, Great Northern beer can. This little lure here, five gram Halco Twisty, is uh, dynamite on herring. So good. But I need something a little bit heavier. This was the lure laser slug 30 grammer that I was catching all the herring on yesterday. All I've really got for weight is um, ball sinkers hammered a bit more uh, elongated. Cut up a bit of beer can. Give it a try anyway. Similar colours. A bit of red in there. Yeah, it should work good. Great Northern beer can lure. Oh, step number one's done. Oh, I'll squash the uh, the lead down. So I've cut out me um, a bit of beer can, a little treble on there, and might try and um, put these on there as well. Got a few bits going on here. Cut up some strips of can. So just got a bit of aerodite drawn here and not too sure what I'm gonna do next. Bit of blend 43. And a bicky. Some knife I made the other day. Pretty good day. I'm going to glue these pieces on. I might add another piece of wire and put another treble at the back here. Just cut out some eyes. Well, there you go. It's possibly the greatest beer can lure ever made. Then we've got the little bottle top spinner at the front. Pretty good, eh? Oh, uh, looks like a bit of rain might be coming. The wind is coming this way. Then the clouds look like they're coming this way. Here comes the rain. Much got everything packed up in here. Kel's just making a cup of tea for the road, and yeah, out here is pretty much done. So, yeah, we'll head to um, uh, Stokes Inlet. Hopefully, there's a campsite there. Um, running a bit of an injury today, um, I stacked it on the rocks there the other day, wearing heat waves and um, done something to my shoulder. The old chicken wing isn't really working. I don't know what it is, something up here. It's like I've, um, I know, overextended it or something, but um, yeah, it's not good at the moment. But a few painkillers and a little bit of harden up and, mm -hmm. um, and she'll be right. Oh, we're just uh, packing up from Quaggy Beach. Um, up all the uh, julka and everything, and yeah. Oh, wow! I don't remember it being that bad on the way in. Tea everywhere. Tea everywhere. Fuck. Yep. Uh, 
I don't we remember that. Are leaving um, <laughs> Quaggy Beach and I haven't got any reception at the moment, but um, I'm pretty sure it's only 50 or 60 k's away. To Stokes. To Stokes Inlet. Stokes Inlet. It's uh, nearly mid morning. So. It is mid morning. It's what? It is mid morning. It's quarter to 11. True. It's nearly midday. It is nearly midday. <laughs> and um, yeah, it didn't let me tyres down, so I'm just going to slow over this. I don't remember it being like this on the way in. Uh, yeah, I think I was just like, going quick, quicker. We'll fucking go then. 